Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Jay here and welcome back to the SMP guys. We're in a brand new episode. Last time we built that right over there guys, the massive giant tower. We're not really too sure what we're calling it yet, but I'm still, it's like our enchanting slash potion tower. Um, it, it, it's turning out really, really well. I really want to, I desperately want to get a piece of glowstone to put on the top because when you're out at night time, this thing lights up like a beacon and there's no light up there yet. So if you get a piece of glowstone on that thing, it'll, it'll just look great. Um, so he, it's just very simple at the moment. We don't have, I want to get a ton more bookshelves just for decoration to put around here. I just think it'd look really cool. Um, and I'm also thinking about building a two-way staircase kind of going up this way to go up to the second floor up there is where the potion room is going to be. So yeah, we did all this last episode. It was great. Check it out. If you guys want link in the description to the previous episode and it looks pretty neat. It's pretty cool. So I did talk about last episode that we'd wanted to go and build a skeleton spawner. I've actually marked out the locations over there. Um, we found a, a skeleton spawner. Well, Thinkatru found one. Yes, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, she found it, and um, I marked it out. And we're gonna go build ourselves a spawner today because now that we got the enchanting room, we need an easy way to get levels. I was hoping it was gonna be a zombie spawner, but skeleton spawner still works. So. I think today we're gonna have Jam Jams. Hi Jam! Hello! And Mustacheros, where are you at? Wait, Hello! He's, he's gone. Hello, guys. Oh god, he's gathering some- I'm out! He's, he's out picking berries, I don't know. It's, oh there he is, I see that name tag. What are you doing out there, boy? Is that where you're leveling? Is that where you're excavating out there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. Alright, well, uh... I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna head out and head to the zo uh, zombie spawner. Gosh dang it. I'm letting myself down. Skeleton oh, spawner. Yeah. And we're gonna go build ourselves a little farm. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be awesome. Now, I don't know if we should take. Oh, can we take bets? Should we take bets for this episode? The typical. Mm, up to you. The typical elimination round bets. Let's go. Let's go see. Are we gonna come back, Mustache, and you're gonna have like. A, a hole dug down a bedrock, you know, one of these situations where you're just oh, no, I'm not, digging. I'm not digging down. I'm, I'm uh, digging out the trees. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you getting, are you, it looks like you're digging out a pit. <laughs> and then you're gonna Well, I'm filling in the pit. <laughs> I'm getting rid of the trees. <laughs> uh-huh. And what are you using the, to get rid of the trees? Axes. <laughs> totally not. Um, Fire steel. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're digging out a box here. And I, I just picture a, a cobblestone box going here and then a couple of flint and steels going off. I can see that happening. Right next to our timber house. You know, it's made out of wood. I'm so scared. Okay, so my, I'm so my prediction scared. is moustache uh, will burn to death. Moustache by fire. Okay, okay. Mustache mm. and Furious. This will catch the house on fire, and poor Furious is working on the house. <laughs> so Mustache first, and then Furious second. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I think Furious is gonna die by fall damage. It's just becoming common these days. Hi, hi, Furious. <laughs> See you in the window there. Yeah, that's gonna hi. have to become a thing. Hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> right. how's, how's it going in there? Is it driving you nuts yet? It, Furious is doing inter interior decorating. The fireplace guys. is eating my soul. He's trying to decorate <laughs> the fireplace. You do good, buddy. The, the, that flower pot looks yeah. really good. It, it, it does. Thank it's you. <laughs> so, Mustache, you going to excavate? Three clay to make that. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, Jams. It's down to me and you then. We're going to go build this skeleton spot. Okay. Let's go do this thing. It's going to be good. I hope we find a zombie spawner pretty soon because I want it that's gonna be my big project man my big secret project well not secret how can I make secret. it secret yeah I wouldn't be able to record it or anything silly it's gonna be a big <laughs> project it's gonna help us out a lot and um, it takes a while it's a fun it's a fun project Um, the whole process of turning oh hi hi spider Mark. Oh, this one's aggro too <laughs> just <laughs> restrain like yourself you. um, <laughs> no you're not it's okay, no, no. I understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's that dirt pillar, guys. That's this is it to mark it. Um, it's kind of in the the snowy mountain itself. So this is the first marker, and then we built our. You think that bridge back there is impressive? Look at this bridge. Yeah, that's right. Look at this bad boy. Interior design. Look, the grass is growing, Jam. It's gonna spread. This whole uh, bridge will be grass soon. Yay! <laughs> Such a so fancy. Grass bridge. No, it's a, it's a masterpiece. Um, now whereabouts oh. was this thing? Was it down or up? I think it was down. It was 
It must be down. It was down. It was down around here somewhere. It's definitely around here. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I know it's around. Did I? Oh, that, up? no! It was. It wasn't around here. Remember, we had to go. You wanted to go through the mountain. Oh right. Okay. So we had to come around here, and then. Did you mark it? We had the cords, didn't we? Oh wait. Yeah, the coordinates. Hang on. Uh, where is it? I'll get it. Three fourteen six six. So three fourteen seven thirty six. Three fourteen. So this way more. Uh, and then 736? 736, so we're going this way. Was that, there, there were the chords for it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 314, which is like back, it's like here, and then we just go straight this way. Wait, no, no, 3... 314 is like here, and then we're going straight this way. To 736. Alrighty, so it should be... Maybe just oh in this okay, so it kind of looked like a similar biome. I don't really remember where it was though. Is that a baby? No, it's a regular zombie in a tree. I think that's very far away. <laughs> oh hello, Skellington. Hey, I hear a zombie too. I hear him very close. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Get wrecked, Skellington. Okay. Did you so, two bring a bed? No, I am, nope. yeah, yeah, I did. Liar. <laughs> I did. Let me see it. What the heck? <laughs> it was like we've been talking about it since day one, Jim Jims. We go at it, but. Oh, skeleton. You skeleton! Just have your shield up, Jim. You'll be fine. There you go. Yeah, kill some sheep. You go kill some sheep. I got the mobs, okay? I'll, I'll watch you back with the mobs. So, 730. Okay, we're very close. We're like, less than 100 blocks away. Whew. Okay, that's one sheep. This is the biome of sheeps, so there should be... Okay, there's no one here. Here right here. Um, there will be one. One around here somewhere. Sheep? Yep, right here. Right here, Jam Jams. Alright, Furious Moustache, you guys ready? No, 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 no. Sleeps. What? Sleeps in a second. Oh. Uh, here you go, Jam. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Boom. You right, Moustache? <laughs> you had a bit of a tricky moment? <laughs> There's three witches outside and an enderman. I didn't look at the enderman. It's just mad. I don't know why it's mad. Uh, I don't know why it's mad. I just looked at it. Uh -oh. I was, no, I was chopping trees. It comes out of nowhere. Yeah, we got to get to bed in a second. There's like mobs getting close to us. So we won't be able to sleep. Bed. Otherwise. All right, go. Sleep Everybody time. sleep. Oh, gosh. I'm waiting for a creeper just to walk up right now. Oh, God. <laughs> Sleep! Like you're having a nice nap there. Sleep! Okay, thank you. <laughs> For the love of God, oh, man! Please. Sleep! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, so, we just keep going this way. It's virtually... Uh, 314, 730... Whoa. 736? That's supposed to be right here. 314? Right. Yeah. 314? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we come up this way. We found it! Yay! Now, because Yay. this is decently far from home... Uh, which way? This way? We're gonna want to build a rail cart system to be able to get here. Easier. No, it's not this way. Wrong way! Whew. Do you got any food on your jam? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. It's gonna be here for a little bit. I've only got seven pieces, but that should do. That should do. Here it is! Ha ha! Awesome! So we got the skeleton. Spawner right here. Now we want to make this face uh, south, right? Is sure. wait north? No, north. Yeah, no, north. North is back towards the base. So here's what we're gonna do. The very first thing is that uh, we need to clear out all of this. So I'm gonna go for the floor and all the cobble and stuff. If you want to attack the walls, wait, hang on, one, two. Yeah, you want to attack the walls? I'll go Wall. for the floor. Yep. You go for the walls. I'll go for the floor. And uh, make sure to keep your pickaxe away from the spawner. Because they can break. And they break, they, they go bye-bye. They go bye-bye. So there's our little skeleton. Freaking out in there. Spinning around. Getting very nauseous, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, we're going to turn him into a, an XP farm. We, this way we get to get a ton of free bows. And arrows as well. And bones. Any, like Everything. It's great. Uh, you can't really lose with any spawner. Unless it was like a silverfish spawner. I don't even think it exists. I don't think. I don't even know. 
They 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 spawn in blocks. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, those are gross. All right, whatever he needs. Zombie flesh. Okay, gross. <laughs> uh, but we can actually use these. Oh gosh, that exploded. We can use these chests. You picked up the other one, I think. Let's drop it out here. And put the random stuff in it. Okay, coolio. Now, the one thing I forgot is we need to fill this up. We need to fill our buckets up with water. So why are you doing that, Jam? I'll go and quickly find out water source. I couldn't remember if there was one close by. Yes, okay. There's a bit of water just over here. So we're going to get our buckets full of water, and then this is going to become pretty simple. Two, three, four. There we go. Put those up there. All right. So... Moustache, what's your prediction? Did you give a prediction? No, I didn't. It's your prediction. Hmm. It's on to Moustache's turn now. Oh, that's where I, I dug out that way. Okay. Might be. What do you predict, man? You I think, think that Jam's gonna die from a zombie. Hmm. From a zombie? You wouldn't you wouldn't call a skeleton since we're, you know we're going to be building a skeleton spawning they're going to be spawning there is a dangerous like... stage of this jam just to let you give you a heads up but, uh, are you going to make just this... good enough to okay. protect her okay okay all right <laughs> but as you're leaving she'll get eaten by a zombie it'll be a zombie okay so like while we're exiting right. the mm, interesting very interesting okay so which north i want to oh, north is the exit that's really easy to remember where our chest is and Where stuff. Just going down? Well, I'm just taking out these ores because why not? When in Rome, as they say. Oh my um, gosh, please stop. Coal. Yeah, coal is the bad thing about mining coal. The only downside is it just never ends. Okay. I'm done. okay. <laughs> so now for this, uh, what we want to do is let's just build this off. So the way that uh, spawners work, okay, I think we might need to go one more block out. How are we looking? So, put this right in the middle. And then we need to use our dirt to kind of outline. We need to go one, two, three. Yeah, we need to be four blocks wide on every side. So, we need to go one more out on the walls. And you want to make sure that we want to go up to this height too. The height that we've currently got for the ceiling. Um, because okay. you want... You need... When you're building a spawner, you need two blocks... Minimum two blocks gap above the spawner. And two blocks ab uh, below it. So that when they're passing when they spawn on it or below it they can actually move and not get stuck so that's the first thing is to make sure that you make sure you have you got to go two blocks down below it and then minimum two above it doesn't really matter how high you go um you just don't want to go too crazy high otherwise you're just wasting time really <laughs> uh because in this room once you've got this built you're never going to see it uh you can i actually like to have partial a partial window kind of open but it does affect the spawning speeds because the darker the room is the faster the mobs will spawn and that's what you want with this with a spawner you want maximum efficiency for all the zombies or whatever it is that's spawning out of there i keep wishing it zombies to to, <laughs> to spawn out of there all right should have bought that Diamond pick, fortune one. Tommy? Uh, it's Gillington? Ow! Oh, yeah. Okay, I was just about to say. So this is why you make it four blocks. See, now they're starting to spawn. Just uh, place a torch in every corner and we'll be good. <laughs> Jam got shot by a skeleton. That was close. Moustache, you nearly... Nearly lost mm. the bell. So, um, so Thinker True had a really good idea as well yesterday, guys, uh, about kind of creating like a... I kind of looked at it as like a Deadpool, right? That's what it reminded me of. Um, it's a similar kind of concept of what it is, is before every episode, like when we're taking these bets, we put something into bet. So we don't just actually say, I bet that Jamazel is gonna die first. We actually have to bet an item. Like I bet my bow that Jamazel will, you know, you say you're betting an item and then uh, it kind of collects in a pool so that whoever doesn't, even if you don't get it right this episode, and that just transfers and goes on to the next episode. So you could have a full chest full of stuff, full of crazy, crazy stuff. That was an idea that I was thinking to was floating around yesterday. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below as well. Alrighty, so now that we've got this kind of dug out, uh, it's a kind of four by four from each side. So I think it's like nine blocks in total, right? Yeah, it's nine blocks in total. It's like a nine by nine 
uh, floor space is what you need. Nine by nine by two underneath the spawner. And this is where the water and stuff is going to go. So this is where uh, making the decision of what direction you want your uh, spawner to face comes in handy because you're going to need to remember this anyway when you get to the next stage. So we want ours to face north that direction. Yep. So we need to create an infinite water source. We'll do it like out here somewhere. We'll do it like just here. Because we're going to have to come back and use this thing a lot. So I'll do this jam. Uh, actually, I'll do the water because it's actually it gets tricky. It gets very, very tricky. Um, bada bing, bada boom. All right. So we want it to face this way. So what we're going to do is every block, what we want to do is kind of outline this in a weird way. Right beneath the spawner, you want to dig that block out. And then you want to go diagonally right to the corner on both sides. So you can do that other side, Jim. Yeah. yeah, from, yeah, in, from where you're going. That's it. And then we're going to chunk out everything in, in the middle. All this stuff. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Well, lucky I bought nearly a full stack of iron. There we go. Bada bing. Bada boom. Brand new pickaxe. I forgot that I enchanted it. I forgot, man. <laughs> so, uh, the reason that this is set up like this is... Uh -oh. if, for me, it's the... Ow, man. I'm trying to make a video here. How rude. <laughs> but place the torch at the exact same time. So, um... <laughs> This for me is the most simple version. It's the most simplistic version of a zombie spawner grinder because uh, it sounds complicated, but once you kind of strip it down, it really isn't. You just get a room like this, nine by nine space, um, and then hollowed out just like we did. And then in each corner, if you place a bit of water, we place that block and then that block, the water spread you'll see stops right before that block. They're not stopping because of that block. That's just how far the water travels. Um, and so what you do is that's all you need is two bits of water. I've seen people place like water sources on, on all sides and try to make it flow into the middle and do all this fancy stuff with water. But that's all you need because this is how simple it gets. Um, I don't want to do it yet. I'll kind of save that, save that little trick for just a second. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. There's a really easy way to just use two buckets of water and get a whole room to just make the water flow into one direction. So that direction is going to be this way. This is where you kind of create the doorway. This right here, what's going to happen is the skeletons will spawn. And you'll notice that if I just grab an item, this is, pretend this pork chop is a skeleton. He'll, he'll just spawn and pop in there without actually moving, aka standing still. You'll see that the water pushes it to the middle. No matter what it does, it'll always go to the middle. So these skeletons, we want to funnel down into this direction right here, like a salt. I'm just kind of dig this in here for now. And let's build us. Um, kind of just want to widen this out for now. We can fill this in later. It's not really going to matter. So, now that we've kind of got this, you, you kind of dig out the direction where they're going to go. Now, all we want to do is one block. You see where this water is ending on each block? We need to dig them out. So, we'll start on the ends at, at the same time and then work our way to the middle. You ready? Just the one block. Okay, ready? And go. That one, that one, that one, that one. Slowpoke. <laughs> I had my sword out. I didn't have my sword out. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. It was very close. It was very, very close. But so now, Jam, if you come up here, and if you go into that corner where that torch is, it's a tough swim. I know it's very rough. Now you see what I'm talking about. The current's very... Now, if you get right back into the corner, you can kind of just hold the direction. You can kind of sit here, right? <sighs> it's nice and relaxing. But if you just, <laughs> did you just let go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to say, that's that's what you do to demonstrate. If you just let go, I'm, right now in 3, 2, 1, I'm just going to let go of my keyboard. As you can see, it floats me, guys. I'm not moving. See, I'm clicking, clapping. I'm not even doing anything. It will just always push you and funnel you down into this direction. How neat is that? <laughs> um, now, what we do need to find out, though, as well, it's just how far this water will go. Is that how far it'll go? Looks like it. Haha. -ha. Okay. So oh, I kind of rushed through that. I should have uh, explained that a little bit more. For this, uh, the next stage is to kind of do what we did before and dig out. You just let the water flow. And this is where it's stopping, right? So if I knock out this, the water won't go any further. See, it just won't trickle down anymore. 
So you do a similar thing. They're going to step down here. So if we break that block, they're going to step down. This will be all filled in with walls like this to the sides. Um, so they get funneled. They get funneled down into here. Um, just like so. And then you want to do this one more time. You want to keep digging until the water stops. Just like so. So that means that... Let me place a torch down here so we can see. They'll get pushed all the way down into this direction. But uh, there's also a risk with doing it this way of being too far away from the spawner. Um, it will actually affect the, the spawning rate. So... I think we might just do this in a simpler, a more simpler way. And if you want to do that, guys, just place the block back. You can see all the water will drain. And this little snout can get quite congested because, like, you can have, like, ten skeletons in this part right here kind of just bouncing back and forth with each other. Um, so that's kind of why I like to use a longer one to kind of push them down even further so they don't <coughs> get clustered just like that. All right. So now here's where the tricky part gets jam. Jim jims. You're just letting yourself... <laughs> uh, we need to dig... Uh-oh. I'm so glad there was no lava there. Whew. So what's going on, guys? It is actually the next day right now. So uh, as you can see, we've still got the skeleton spawner. It's right in there. This is the exact same room. Now, as you can tell, guys, the setup that we had before where the skeletons would come down and then the idea was to use the water elevator to push them up. That doesn't work anymore in 1.12. So I, uh, I didn't... Oh, whoopsie. I didn't mean to hit jam there. <laughs> um, didn't actually mean to work there. So it wouldn't, uh, they don't actually jump up anymore. So we had to make it so they fall straight down. Uh, it works just the same. I, it's kind of a shame. I wanted to have it up so we could be on the surface because the, the exit's right there. Let me come show you guys. Uh, but it actually still works pretty good. Uh, we've spent all day really just uh, remodeling it and just making it right. So as you can tell, you guys were seeing before, the water elevator actually came up out here and we made like this big bridge looking thing. It just didn't look that great. It looked kind of gross. So I'm glad that, I'm kind of glad. It was like a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out. Um, so now all we have to do is dig down. So a house is back that way. Then all you do is I'll put that pillar up in the sky so we can see it from anywhere. And then we come down here and we drop all the way down. And as you can see, this is the big kind of glass tube. I do plan to remove all of this. Um, I'm actually smelting up stone right now. And I'm going to make all stone brick and I'm going to put all replace the walls and the roof and make all of this look super, super nice. So as you can see, there's a lot of skeletons now. They're actually dying because there's too many of them. Oh! <laughs> I got a little bit too close there. Place down a few hoppers. So look at this. This is all from today, by the way. This is all from the last few hours of me just sitting here building this. It's absolutely insane. So it looks pretty good. It works really, really well. What I want to do now, though, is uh, to wrap this episode up. It's not a longer one, uh, but that's just because we're doing a grinder. Uh, you know, there's not really that much to do. What I do want to do is get to level 30, and we're three levels away from that. And then I actually want to go and enchant a bow. A bow is something that I really, really want and need. If we can get infinity, that's the idea. That's the plan. Um, it's going to be great. So... I, I need to figure out a better hopper system as well to sort these. I don't want to put the bows in the chest. So that's why we just have bones and arrows on either side. Look at this. Look at the amount of stuff we got. This is just from one day. I cannot believe it. But uh, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. I'm hoping for something good on this bow. Send me good luck down in the comments down below right now, guys. Because what we're going to go do is we're going to just repair all these first. There we go. Got a repaired bow. That could be our one that we can enchant. A fully... Fully untouched bow. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to level 30. Spend the next 5 or 10 minutes or so doing that. And then we're going to make our way back to the enchanting tower. And get our enchant on. Let's do this thing. Alrighty guys, we're actually done. We're super super done. I just finished uh, decorating. It, it's This is very basic, but we kind of just made it look a little bit cleaner. It looks really nice down here now. You know, we're going to make this a lot better. I, I plan to knock down that wall and dig further in that way and put uh, another enchanting table room down here. Um, but, you know, it's looking pretty neat. We've got this little hopper system to separate the stuff so that when we come along and, and kill these guys, we'll just kill one of them so that Jam doesn't get too upset. Um, she's up there, man. She's watching. So we've got uh, bows and uh, bones. We've got arrows and bones just depositing into these chests at an alarming rate. Like, it's crazy. 
Look at how many arrows we got. I'm actually going to take a stack of these. Because, guys, like we said, what we want to go and do now is uh, enchant a bow. And we're going to go do that twice right now. This is so much fun. I'm super glad that you guys have been enjoying this. It's been overwhelming support. Like, seriously. Uh, of, you know, what it's like to be uploading stuff that's not roleplay content. And you guys are enjoying it. It's really, really great. So, thank you so much for that. I honestly can't thank you enough. I really, really do appreciate it. Um... And yeah, okay, so let's make our way downtown, walking fast, pacing fast, and I'm homebound. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, all right, but anyway, seriously. I also got Thinkachu to uh, build a bridge over this way because I plan to make a massive monorail, hopefully. Like, not monorail, train track system. It's going to be over this way, I think it is. And it should be just over here. So the idea is to make a train track that goes from here all the way back to home so that we don't have to run here all the time uh it'd be nice whoa okay dang nice thing nice so this is as you can see this is the bridge that we're on now this is the first one looks really cool that looks awesome okay right and so we come through this we plan to dig this mountain out the, the railroad's gonna go through this mountain over here oh nice okay so it's just repeated on this side this is dope nice looking bridge and then this will kind of connect up here uh, and then the track will just shoot, kind of zip through this way and, you know, head back home. But we're going to head over here. Oh, wow. There's another connecting bridge. Oh, my gosh. I think it's going ham with the bridges right now. <laughs> this is cool, though. I like these little rope bridges. They're fancy. Very fancy. So over here, let's think. Hello. Over here is where our tower is. There it is. We're nearly there, guys. I'm super excited. I'm super, super keen on trying to get infinity on this bow. Um... Power is not really so much of an issue because even if you were to get like fire or four level one bows, you could just combine those. Uh, well, you need eight, sorry. And then you could like make a level four bow, power four bow, for example. You can just combine them, but with infinity, it's its own little thing. Oh gosh, here we are. Okay, let's take a little bit of lapis. Here we go, ladies and gents. Put our first bow in. What are we going to get? Level 30 is... Unbreaking, really? No. Oh, that's such a risk. What if we put a different one in? It's going to be the exact same thing. E hmm. All right. Do we have any books? We do. All right. Let me see what I can get on a book right here, right now. Fire protection, sharpness two, and efficiency one. Again, nothing that great. This isn't good. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's see if I can maybe waste a little bit of XP on a little bur on a pickaxe. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Here, let's just do this one. Reset the enchant. We've got him breaking one. Now let's try it again. What can we get? Power three. Oh boy. Ugh. Power three. It's kind of risky, guys. Because we can get power... Th the power three dot 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 question mark means that there could be possibly more enchants put on this bow. And not just power three. But... We, all co we could also run into the risk of just getting power 3 and nothing else. Do I risk it for the biscuit, guys? Wait, can you enchant a shield? No, you can't. Okay, I was going to say, that'd be weird if you could. I kind of want to do it. I, I kind of really want to do it because we can only waste... We can't really waste any XP now. Oh, boy. All right, guys, here we go. We're doing it. We are doing it. Power 3... And even if we don't get the enchant that we want, we're only going to be like two levels off. And then we can just go back to the spawner, get a bit of XP. All right, power three. Come on, infinity. Come on, three, two, one. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, dang. Dang, we got punch one. The worst kind. Okay, so we're on level 28. Let's see what we would get next. Uh, where'd the other bow go? Let's grab this bad boy. What will we get next? You watch it be piping. Unbreaking three. Okay, so we still don't even have an infinity. All right, well, we'll leave that down to another round, I think, guys. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode again. Like I said, not a very long one, okay? Um, we just wanted to get a, a bit of a grinder up so we can get a little bit of XP so we can start enchanting stuff. And we're doing pretty good. This is my armor set, Aqua Infinity, Fire Protection. The stuff's looking, you know, pretty decent. We're... we're, we're, we're we're on our way. We've started. <laughs> so, guys, the next episode, I'm actually planning to go to the nether with the group, with the guys. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that. And hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series. If you do, 
And if you are enjoying it, and if you're a true OG, just a true supporter of this channel, don't forget to leave a comment down below, like the video, and don't forget if you want to take it an extra step further, you can click that bell after you guys have subscribed. That way you never miss an episode or any any video that I upload for that matter. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are truly, truly amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys around for the brand new next episode of the SMP where we go to the nether. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down for the long run now yeah. Red Corvette and my drop top down Calling up my digits in my Motorola And I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip